evening and you all having fun so just grab a cup of tea water juice whatever it is that floats your boat get your drink and let's get started today i want to introduce you to this beautiful lady here her name is adazi Ada. <laughs> so we want to welcome her Ada. introduce yourself to hi my name is Ada, and i've known beverly for a while she's amazing and <laughs> i'm happy to be here yay welcome to welcome tea time. Time. <laughs> so all right today we have a good segment for you guys um we are continuing our relationship series and for today the topic is long distance relationship so if you are in a long distance relationship have been or you know somebody this topic might be helpful to you so we're just gonna go ahead and just jump right in so the first question is have any of us been in a long distance relationship i have I have been in a long distance relationship before. You'll see. <laughs> Me I too. Have. We all have been. <laughs> Probably currently. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. All right, so what are the most important things in a long distance relationship? Number one, communication. Communication mm -hmm. is the bug. You have to be able to communicate as often as possible, especially since you're not seeing each other. So I think that's what keeps glues you guys together. That is true. Communicate. I think trust is also really important. Because yeah. mm -hmm. when you're apart, you always start to, like your imagination goes wild. You don't yeah. know what the other person is doing. Right. And if there's no trust in that relationship, it's going to go downhill very fast. Because you're going to always assume the worst. And yeah. That's so true. <laughs> that is so true. And just to add a little to what... They said, I feel like being faithful mm -hmm. in our relationship is also very important. Because you know, there comes a time when sometimes it, it, you have to be loyal in that relationship. You know, don't be, you know, because the person is not there. You're kind of like, oh, freedom yeah. is <laughs> <coming>. <laughs> you Go here, go here. Please, none of that. If you're really serious about this person, be faithful. Right. Be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, be honest. And that also ties into the trust and also communication yeah, yeah i think also you have to be creative right mm. because you know you, you can you like you talk and sometimes you like always doing the same thing talking right. on the phone right. maybe you sky mm -hmm. but then it gets mm -hmm. monotonous at some point you just have to like spice it up right. Right. Spice yeah. Yeah. Yeah, movie. Sure. you know what i mean <laughs> some examples i'm sure the viewers would like to know what type of way to spice up a long distance relationship what do you do to spice up and just do something you haven't done before. Mm. I read sometimes somewhere like watch a movie together, like keep Ooh. up with the same TV shows just mm -hmm. so you have something mm -hmm. more to talk, talk about. about. Cause then true. when you're when you're apart, you have separate friends, right? right. right. And right. you know, keep family in the loop. Right. Yeah. So I, I think there's always yeah. depending on the kind of relationship, too, there's always oh, yeah. stuff you can do. I think staying mm -hmm. positive too. Right. You know, mm -hmm. because it's like normally it's already hard and. Sometimes we do have some kind of misunderstanding. Just to know that you know what, regardless of our misunderstanding, I still got you. You still got me. You know, right. like regardless of what, we're gonna get through this and just right. stay positive. That's true. true. That is so true. That is so true. And I know technology is so helpful when it comes to yes. long distance. Skype. Now they got this thing called FaceTime. You can <laughs> see each other. You know, so I feel like all those things are really, really helpful. A yeah. good one, which I think personally too has been so helpful, is reassuring each other from time to time. Mm, you know what I mean? Like true. just keep them knowing that you know what say, I love you. you right. know, like say those things to mm. you know to each other, just so right. you can kind of make things a little more solid. True. Yeah. That is so true. Like, la la, love you. Mm -hmm. I you love you. Send pictures. Hey, <laughs> Send pictures yeah. when you go out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and pictures. as much as possible, close the gap when, like, you can. Okay. Like mm -hmm. we're just saying, sometimes it's easy to get when you get the hang of things in a long distance relationship. But you can get a bit comfortable too. Oh. But hop on that plane, mm -hmm. go visit. You know, make, make it, it happen. You need, yeah. like, you need to make. Put um, effort. Yeah, constant mm -hmm. effort to mm -hmm. see so that it's just not open ended. Okay, we're not this right now, but when are we going to meet up? When are we going to close right. this gap? That's really important. Yeah. And do it as often as you can. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Okay, so um I'm gonna throw this question out there. 
What would you do if you suspect that the person you are in a long distance relationship with is cheating? That's a communicate and tell them how you feel. You know, mm -hmm. if 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 something that they did or you mm -hmm. suspecting something, bring it up to the table. You guys talk about it. Right. Mm -hmm. And tell them how that does make you feel. Let it be a discussion. But is it would it be a discussion that would be appropriate like over the phone or would it be best to go over there, sit the person down and talk to them? Honestly, for me personally, I'll say being over the phone or however it comes out. It needs to be discussed. And the longer you keep things, the longer your mind starts wandering and start mm -hmm. bringing up and making up things, you know, just mm -hmm. bring it up, let you guys talk about it. If you guys feel like it's something that is so serious and it's affecting the relationship, then you make time and get together mm. and sit down and actually right. address it. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that shows some kind of maturity in the relationship. That's true. But one thing I always, always say is, whatever if you suspect something or if you are having an inclination of, okay, maybe something is not right, Never text. <laughs> Never put it in a text. Always make sure you talk to the person on the phone. If you can't be in person on the phone, because I have learned <laughs> that whenever you text, even if you might have a certain mindset, why right? you know, exactly. like okay, or I'm saying message, but the way that person interprets. interprets that message, you know, is maybe not what you had in mind. Mm -hmm. so maybe maybe like it may come across the wrong way. So I would say. Never, even if you are in a, not even a long, it goes to all relationship. If there's an issue, there's a problem, always talk to the person. Yeah. Never text. And I think also it's worth giving it some thought before you speaking up. Mm -hmm. Be sure of what you're about to say. You know, I believe in giving people a long group, like, okay, observe for a while before you actually, because once you say it, you can't take it back. True. Once you voice those suspicions or worries or concerns, they're out there, you know, so I guess it's it's mm -hmm. more just, okay, is this is this all in my head? Am I making it up or is it really happening? Right. <laughs> Before you say it. Right, and that's something I've learned too, like, it's always best to, like I was saying, kind of sleep on it mm -hmm. and pray on it instead of just, because yeah. <laughs> I have learned. <laughs> <laughs> that really? <laughs> So exactly, because you know when you're in the moment, you just the person's like, whoa, where did that come from? Yeah, right. So if you, you know, kind of, and also, it never hurts to take the time to think really well about what to say. That helps a lot. Before just, <laughs> especially you're somebody who like you are straightforward. I'm a very straightforward person, so I like I just say what's on my mind. But then sometimes it can come across. So always kind of like sit back, think before. It's not easy. Like, I said, you're a straightforward person. It's not easy, but practice makes perfect. perfect. <laughs> so just try to always, like, think before you speak. Yeah, and that will help, too. So I'll say on a, uh, okay, my question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate it? Is it difficult, long-distance relationship, or is it easier? Mm. It has its ups and downs, which I kind of yeah. like. Um... But I'll say for the most part, it's not easy. It's not easy because it's way different when you have somebody next to you that you could talk to all the time mm. as compared to like, you know, on the phone. Because, you know, like I said, communication is not just words. Yeah. You know, it goes with body language mm. and all that kind of stuff. So having somebody next to you and communicating with somebody next to you is a little bit more different than, you know, being on the phone or even Skype. And, mm. Yeah. So... That is so and true. also like spending time together, together. Yeah. which you know, that really bonds up the relationship. That's true. Yeah, I, I think also that um, it, it takes work, like we said, mm -hmm. but it's going to come down to the personalities of the oh, people the, involved. That's true. If you don't have that's true. people that, like, if you have mm -hmm. people that are very visual and don't have the patience to work out something with someone they can't really see all the time, then you have less of a chance, you know, mm. of success in that context. But if you if you're working with someone that can keep going, even if you mm. don't see an end, right, right, they right. can like just keep at it, keep pushing, mm -hmm. keep pushing. Then you know it might work. Oh, yeah. you know? So I think it's just gonna depend on who you're who you're with. That sure. is so true. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that I like about the long distance is, you know how you guys haven't seen each other. So when you when meet, you kind of like it's always that new fresh, you know. Yeah. And so, for somebody who you see every day, <laughs> but then again, 
<laughs> you know, when you get married, you're gonna see that person every day, so you true. better get used to it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you know how? I, I, that's what I think. It still comes down to the people. Like you know how they say, absence mm. makes, makes them half fonder. Mm -hmm. It's true for some people, but for some other people, out of sight, out is out of mind. <laughs> okay. That's true. So I think at the end of the day, good balance. Even when you're married, you're gonna have those out of town trips. That's why it's mm -hmm. good to like just. That's a topic for another day. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Take a trip <laughs> once in a while with yeah. your girls or with your guys so that there's yeah. just some space in there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And this ties down to communication. I feel like this one thing that makes it difficult is when both couples don't have a goal together. They don't like, okay, where is this relationship it heading? Is it always going to be long distance Thank or you. eventually are we going to come together? Right. You know, is somebody going to make a sacrifice and move? Because you have some people that are so set in their ways, like their right. jobs, the amount yeah. of money they're making. Right. And it's it be more complicated to like a right. whole different country. You need a visa to go. Right. One person right. might be able to cross the border. So and the other person yeah, might not. Right. So right. It's, it's all those factors. Yeah. Like, so many factors. But like Queen said, at the end of the day, when it really comes down to it, it's cute when the guy is. Mm -hmm. I mean, more like you know, like you know, like visiting. But at the end of the day, you know, a woman needs to move to her man and yeah. all of that kind of stuff. Mm. But. I'm just saying like when it comes to like making that initiative of like visiting or just showing up or yeah you know oh yeah I mean? yeah like, yeah that's nice that is so true yeah, that is so true if, the, if you're in a relationship long distance relationship and the person is not like you will call the person the person won't respond you send a message the person won't respond what do you do if you feel like the other person is no longer interested they are kind of like in just indifferent mm. in that relationship yeah, and you, you feel like you're yeah they're distancing themselves you feel like you're the one putting more effort what do you do in that situation you talk it goes down to talking but the person hey, is like mister <laughs> i have a feeling some kind of distance i don't know what's going on but you know this is how i feel so i don't know if you know we're still on the same page with things but i feel mm. like we need to talk about this we need to communicate you tell me what's going on right that's yeah. true. I, 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 I feel like it, it, it comes, it happens a lot of the time with the person that moves away. You know what um. I mean? Because maybe they moved away for a certain reason, they're busy, and then they just let that take mm. over them. So I think, like what Queen said, you have to constantly like talk about it. Okay, are we still in this together? Like, mm -hmm. FYI, we're still dating. <laughs> it's almost like you have to remind them. Right. right. We're together. You want to be in yeah. that yeah. we are showing each other all the time. Right, exactly. You know? oh, Even if like, you're going through a stressful time, you know, you're awake, work, and all this stuff, right. is, you know, but still always reassure your partner. Like, yeah. you know what? I know this is crazy, but, you know, we're in this together. Like, I That's love you. True. I, Absolutely. you know, I care about you. We're still on the same plan. That's true. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. All right. So that is it for this topic. <laughs> we have more coming up. We have more coming up. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe. All right. You all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.